okay everyone i will show you how to complete this uh, exercise in the packet tracer configuring the dhcp on wireless router so first uh, you have to log on to the net uh, acad uh, website and then look for the module 11.2.3 yeah here you download this okay so uh, download after that uh, we have this uh, packet tracer uh, file downloaded and then you double click and yeah, this uh, file this will open the packet tracer for you to use it uh, to complete uh, this lab okay so uh, yep here you go Okay, so uh, after you uh, open the DHCP packet tracer configuration, then uh, we have this instruction. Yeah, sometimes the window is too small, the font, you can adjust. Control L, yeah, okay, like this. So the first task, uh, part one, is uh, to uh, add the PC, add the three PC, generic PC, and then connect uh, to the Ethernet port of the wireless router, yeah. Where is the generic PC? It is uh, in the end device here. Yeah, end device, then I drag this uh, three PC, PC0, then a PC1, and PC2. And then we connect to the wireless router using the straight uh, uh, through uh, cable, the copper one, yeah. Okay, so let's uh, connect the cable. The straight through copper is this one, the black one. Okay, Ethernet, then after that, uh, look for the any gigabit Ethernet that uh, still free. Repeat again with the PC1. And then uh, the PC2. Okay, so when you first connect, uh, you see the light, the color is amber. Meaning that uh, it is still uh, setting up the network. You need to wait until this become green. Yeah, if it is amber, that meaning the connectivity is not uh, uh, established yet. Okay, so the PC0, the first one we added, uh, already changed to green. Okay, PC2, PC3. Yeah, okay. So, uh, continue. We completed the uh, part one. Okay, and then uh, part two, the observe the DHCP default setting. Go to the PC0, click desktop, and then IP config DHCP. Yeah, okay. Click the PC0, after that, uh, click desktop, and then IP. Yeah. So, uh, currently, the IP is configured to use a static IP, but uh, no IP uh, assigned. Yeah, you click the DHCP. This is expected to get the IP from the DHCP server, which is, uh, we now get it, yeah, 192.168.0.100. And the default gateway is a dot zero dot one. Yeah. Okay. So uh, back to the instruction. After that, uh, uh, record the IP. Yeah. One nine two one six dot zero dot one. Close the IP. Open the web browser and then log on to the the default gateway. Yeah. Okay. So I close the IP configuration. Then click the browser. The browser is this one. Web browser. And then uh, enter the one nine two. 168.0.1 this is the gateway ip click uh, go then uh, username is admin password is admin okay so we open the wireless router setting okay yeah the ip is a uh, dot one and then the ip address uh, list the starting is a uh, 100 for the 50 ip now we continue by looking at the part three. Yeah, within the router IP, you change the IP to the dot five dot one. Save the setting and then uh, check the uh, connectivity from the client again. Yeah, okay. So here, from the zero dot one, you change to five dot one. Okay. After that, you scroll down. Make sure you don't change this uh, subnet. Yeah. You scroll using the scroll bar. And then until the bottom, then save the setting. 
okay if you notice the color of the light become amber again because we make changes in the wireless water okay so we need to wait uh, this uh, become a uh, green again it takes uh, a while but uh, during the time then you have to wait and uh, you need now to change this IP address to dot five dot one because uh, we change uh, the wireless router from zero dot one to five dot one. Okay, so the green color already appear. Yeah, so we log on again with the new IP address dot five dot one. Okay, but uh, you also have to change the IP address of the PC zero. Yeah, so we close then after that the PC zero in the IP. We need to renew. Yeah. Click the static, after that click the DHCP again. So now it get the IP address with the dot five dot one hundred. Yeah. So uh, the IP address DHCP already changed. Then we open again the browser with the new IP one nine two one six eight dot five dot one. Admin and then uh, admin. Okay so change the 5.1 yeah the next instruction is uh, to ask you to uh, change the starting ip from the 100 to 126 and the number is a uh, change to 75 okay yeah so uh, when you scroll you use, use this uh, scroll bar so change to 126 and then the number is 75 don't forget to save the changes okay and again check the color so before you continue with your task you need to verify that uh, this color is a uh, change to green otherwise then you won't be able to uh, to connect yeah okay just wait for a while okay yeah now we need to renew the ip because uh, the starting ip is a uh, change to 126 so we go back to the pc0 uh, to renew the ip you just click the static and then uh, back to the dhcp so with this it will force the pc to get the new ip yeah 126 yeah the same thing with the pc1 you click the desktop ip then a uh, dhcp you get the one to seven yeah the next uh, available ip and pc2 desktop ip dhcp yeah one to eight okay so pc0 is a uh, one to six pc1 one to seven pc2 one to eight okay then close and then uh, the instruction is a uh, now select the command prompt then uh, in the pc0 then uh, ip config then uh, try to uh, ping yeah the pc1 and pc2 okay first ping the gateway okay so pc2 and then command prompt ip config type the ip config okay so we get the uh, one to eight yeah the IP and then we test uh, ping the gateway which is uh, one and two one six eight dot five dot one got a reply yeah if uh, got a reply meaning the ping is successful the network is connected now you ping the one to six PC one uh, PC zero also get a reply ping the PC one one to seven also got a reply yeah so now uh, all the PC are connected yeah. Uh, through the IP address assignment by the DHCP enable router okay so uh, if you now uh, check the activity we already have completed everything and uh, to uh, verify you completed you click the check result okay in the check result all the item already been mark as a green yeah so that means that uh, your activity already been completed and the score is a uh, nine over nine yeah okay okay so that's uh, how to solve the problem in the wireless dhcp uh, router